better than to die in the office. Yeah, here's a fish. Yeah, the line's taken. And that was on a on a hairy frame. Good fish, Tucker. Yummy. Welcome back, folks. Really early morning fishing today, and uh, I've got some bait which I caught the other day. I'm gonna try and use this to see if there's anything, you know, decent out there. But I've already anchored. I found a spot. Put some burley out there and just soak, soak a couple of baits, and we'll see how we go anyway. So, pretty excited. Alrighty. First bait for the day. Right, so I've got a hook up. Nothing that big. What have we got here? Butterfish. No, that's not a good sign at all. That's not a good sign at all. Well, I just got myself a live bait. Probably the best bait. There we go. That looks pretty attractive. Just a big fish. Come and get me. Just like something went for the uh, live bait. Oh, look at that. Something went for a right. Chopped his head off. Ooh. Well, this one's going off. Oh, this is going off. Got a bit of curry here. What have we got here? I knew it. <laughs> Small standby. E. Alright, so this was take it off. I saw it run. And uh, yeah, the head's come off. What a bugger. I knew I should have put the hooks right on the head. Don't think this hook's even big enough. Try it again. More curry. To Skippy. It's a small special mine, this one. Yeah, so he just might have grow, but you know, I know there's big ones out here. Ooh. So there's another Skippy or another baby sandboy. More curry. Whoa. Saw the boat. Wants to run. What a bloody guy. There you go, another Skippy. Oh, Skippy. Well, it looks like Skippy's on the menu. If I catch another herring or tommy off, I'll put him on the live hook again. Because that, that, that got taken, which is pretty, uh, yeah, it was sick. <laughs> right, so I'm just using a bit of the herring fillet on the one circle, on the one hook. It's unweighted. Let it drift down the water column. Might be a few Trevelli. A few other species. Got the burley happening. Burley is basically um, like chum, old bits and pieces of fish. Let the oils get out there and attract the fish. Let's watch that rod for me. Alrighty. Bit of curry here. Could be a better size skippy, maybe. Bit of colour in the water there, let's have a look. Oh, it's a good size skippy. Only spat at the last minute. <laughs> I was playing games. Oh, the other line's getting taken. The other line's taken. And that was on a on a herring frame. Oh, okay, so I can actually move it. 
awesome. But let's have a look. Is he a fish? Yeah, he's a fish. Of course he's a fish. I don't like the way he's moving. Let's see my drag. Then again. So he hasn't gone over the anchor line. Anchor's over there, the right. I've been a bit, bit of bother. I'll get some line off him. See the colour there in the water. Yeah, he's a ray. He's a ray. Here he is. He's a big one. Cool. Oh. He's a big one. Yeah, oh, man. Okay. Right, I can actually retrieve his, the hooks, which is good. And I, uh, I do have him here. Whoa. <laughs> Released. <laughs> that was a bit dangerous, that was how I flicked off. Bloody stingrays. <laughs> okay. Let's regroup and uh, get into it. Yeah, so the sun's come up. It's been a bit quiet lately. A few of these small skippies. Nothing too much. I think I might uh, move. After a while, a spot might get over, over a run by the little small fish. It is hard too because um, I wouldn't say it's a new spot for me, but I don't really fish it that often. I don't know the areas, so it does take time to find them. Could be potluck. <laughs> That's fishing. Yeah, it's going all right. Better than better than the, the than the day in the office. Oh, tell you what, this, these trevellies are getting smaller, <laughs> and there's stacks of them down there. Righty. More curry here. Oh yeah, slimy, slimy mackerel. Anyway, beautiful. a bit more curry. Let him run a fair bit. Yeah, another, <laughs> another Trevelli. Now, I might uh, drop the camera down here near the burly pot. I'll just show you how many fish are around the place.
looks like I've got another stingray. And this one's a bit bigger. Oh my god. Not what I wanted. You can tell they're stingrays because they just don't. They don't run when they run, but as opposed to a snapper. Actually, he's not too bad. He's got up to the surface. It's actually not too, too big. Maybe because I'm using a heavy outfit. Decent size one. Oh yeah, I can see him over there. <laughs> it's a big white cloud. Yeah, he's coming to the surface. Yeah. Make a lot of splash. Oh, he's the same one. He probably enjoyed my dental work. There's a big one. There's a big one. There you go. Oh, that's not good. He's... Well, I've got no choice. It's too big to keep. He'll survive. Hey, mate. Stay safe. <laughs> so, two stingrays. They do say they are a sport fish. It was alright. Which is good. There's nothing worse than having a big, massive stingray and you're spending 20, 30 minutes just pulling it up. All right, let's get back into the herring and see if we can get a nice feed. Being out here is just, just relaxing for me as it is. I'm not that ambitious to get the big fish. Um, I caught the two stingray. Oh. But yeah, just make the best of it while I'm out here. Got a few small baits. There you go. That's a small, that's a smally one. Yeah, oh. Good Tommy Ruff herring. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Good for bait. It's not bad tucker too. So he's coming home. Not bad tucker. Fish tucker. Alrighty. This is taking a half beauty. So if it's something edible, something good. Ah, uh, medium size skippy. Nothing worth bragging about. Keeps out here. Good fun. That's what it's all about. <laughs> no stress fishing. Fishing shouldn't be stressful anyway. But having a YouTube channel, sometimes it can be a bit stressful. People give you the expectation. Why don't you go and do this? Why don't you go and do that? You know, look, this is me. This is Dom's Fishing Adventures. I try and uh, just spice it up and change it up a bit. At the end of the day, I, love, I just love fishing. Alright, so this one here went for the squid bait. Oh yeah, so it's another sand bait. Yeah, another sand bait. Good fighting fish. And they do grow to really big fish. And I've seen it in action before. They're massive. Oh, mighty. Oh, oh yeah. Another herring. Another herring. Not a bad little bit of fish. <laughs> what a great morning. You're not going to see me till later on, but uh, that's the skippy. 
it's in was a good fine specimen. I did fillet it last night. I went to work today, now it's time for some dinner. And I've still got the ribs, ribs in here and the bones there. That's fine because I'm gonna bake this whole. I'm cooking two pieces. Again, I'll have enough for, for lunch tomorrow. That's better. Really, really simple. Got a bit of salt. Can't find the salt shake, it's gone missing. <laughs> Most things around this place here. That's another story. Some black pepper. It's the easiest way to cook fish, especially this size. Bake it, put it in for 20 minutes, slow cooked, and you'll be right. Now I've got heaps of garlic. Don't ask me why. I just bought some new garlic the other day from the shops, and they're quite big, these clubs. So I've got to make good use of it. There's some fresh pasty from the from the garden. Let's quickly chop it up. Put a little bit now and then the rest just before I um, cook it up, eat it up. Olive oil, just to stop it from drying out too much. Also the flavour too. <coughs> All right, that piece there. And a bit of crunch, I want to put some panko breadcrumbs on top, so just sprinkle it. That'll give you a different texture on the top, nice and crunchy. Be baked as well. Lovely. And it's a bit of oil on the top there, so it doesn't dry out. That, my friend, is it. Australian oven, it goes, it's already been preheated right here. Down at 180, 15 20 minutes maybe. Enough time to chill out after the days at the office. Salt. Alright, I think it's ready. Let's have a look. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, I reckon. I'm gonna pick some out here. A bit hard to tell really. Yeah, it's nice and moist. Look at that. Look at that. Let's, let's give it a shot. Yeah. Oh. Oh, really good. The pepper's really coming out really good. The salt's real balanced. Panko breadcrumbs. And the fish, obviously, is very delicious. Let's go for another piece. And go here. Mmm. Looking at it probably could stay in there for a bit more, but it will still keep cooking as I'm out of the oven. But anyway, it's fantastic. Can't find my beer. Anyway, um, great, <laughs> great meal. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you next time. You beauty. Good fish tucker. Good fish tucker. Fish Yummy. Taka Fish Taka Fish Taka man Fish Taka Fish Taka The Fish Taco Man